of Buddy Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inga. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kangen Omega chapter 205. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So, well, last chapter of King and Omega, we saw that um, the worm was really one uh, giant, long um, cult organization of worm. And, um, well, after our group went into, you know, the disputed territory, um, the stragglers, so to speak. Bray and the poor guide have to face a couple of members of the worm. Anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled At the Abandoned Temple. Oh, whoa. If he lands a clean hit, I'm done for. We'll I'll have to end this first. All right, Bray, let's see what you got. Russian style lightning flash. Daryl Mion, how dare you spoil us this morning? Oh, no. Don't how dare you. I, I love being spoiled. Ooh. Ooh, that distortion. Oh, oh my God. Well, this is a surprise. I didn't think you'd get that much faster just by going barefoot. In Reichen style, huh? Bit of a shame that it's only passed down to one successor. Techniques like that are just too good to die out. Never thought about opening them up, opening them up to the public? What the hell? So you could still move, huh? Pretty impressive. But that's the best you can do, I bet. So you hit my spinal cord. Exactly. I blocked off your spinal cord. Ooh, damn straight. Oh my god, my skeletal heart. I'm very happy. The paralysis is only temporary, but that'll be enough to neutralize you. Oh god, it definitely, definitely is. Holy shit. This looks beautiful. Neutralize, huh? Well, you're damn right. I can't fight with a damn like this, but so what? Oh, that reminds me. You took a vow of non-killing, didn't you? Started caring about human rights, I see. Like Sakamoto. Sakamoto days. Which I do cover on this channel. I keep having people tell me, cover Sakamoto days. Mofo, go check my playlist. I cover Sakamoto days. I've been covering Sakamoto days since chapter one. Seriously, I cover mainstream shit before it becomes mainstream. Look at, go look at my playlist. You will see. Kimetsu no Yaiba is another one that I covered before it became mainstream. I covered that series since like, from like chapter 50 to the end or some shit like that. An assassin who doesn't kill? You could make a whole movie about that. <laughs> Dude, I feel, in a way, I feel like that's a jab at Sakamoto days. I do. <laughs> Yes, getting closer. Ooh. Ooh. Rango's not tolerating that shit. Nope. Ooh. The bone. The bone. You made two critical mistakes. First, I'm not an assassin anymore. Second, I'm stronger than you even when I'm committed to not killing. <laughs> I can't help but think of Sakamoto in this moment. Can't argue with that. Oh, I lose. I'm taking you to the outside um, and uh, handing you over to the Kenyan Association. Uh, you're going to tell uh, tell us everything you know. Ooh, not happening. I'm dying now. Oh, dude. That he is. And, oh, that's so gross. Took poison. Oh, these guys are almost impossible to take alive. It's a fucking cult. What do you want? The other two did the same thing. Took their lives without a second thought. They've been uh, well trained or brainwashed it more accurately. Gotta love cults, right? Did you beat them? Well, in self defense, mind you. Talk about a hassle. You should have told me you were tangled up with the worm. Oh, you reported directly to the head. You wouldn't usually find someone that high ranking here on the front lines. There's a real big shot in the inside, isn't there? Ooh, bigger than you know. Because the head and the connector are here too, so. 
Yep. Meanwhile, in the disputed territory. Well, it's a good thing we made it through uh, the underground without incident. All thanks to our guide. Are we in the disputed ter uh, territory? Yeah. Yeah, Koga. What was your first clue? Fucking idiot. Seriously, I'm begging you. Please, Sandra bitch. Have Ryuki kill this bitch and go in Omega mode. I'm begging you. Just give me that and I will be happy. We're almost at the point where the GPS stopped responding, but how do we know he was above ground? I, I highly doubt he's in the underground. The undergrounders really don't like strangers. They never accept an outsider like Gao Mikaku. Which means we'll have a better uh, chance starting our search above ground. We're almost there, aren't we, Ritsudo? Yeah. Right at that building. An abandoned temple? This temple must have been built ages ago. Oh my god, is this temple what I think it is? It was probably abandoned when the inside was formed. Well, it's like they say, you can meet the Buddha in hell. Eh, that's a nice little turn of phrase. Ooh. Whoa. You little shits. How the hell did you find me? Who the fuck is this old guy? Stay on your toes. This guy is tough. Huh? So you're one of them worms, are you? Get lost before I whoop your ass. Dude, I think I know what this temple is. Remember the temple we saw in um, the Tokita Niko backstory? When th that's what this is. This is where all the shit went down with Tokita Niko. Oh, wait till Mukaku finds out um, that that is, uh, that is Oma and, uh, that Takeda Niko, he has to know that Takeda Niko trained Oma. He has to know. But we are definitely going to be getting into the full backstory of, uh, Gal Mukaku soon. We have to. If we're not, I'm going to be, like, kind of pissed and kind of surprised. Now... In terms of length for this backstory and structure, because of how significant Mukaku is to this series, this has got to be a long ass backstory because we need the full details, um, especially with all the, with the um, with the in you know how he associated with the worm and the connector and um, where Takeda Niko comes in, especially in terms of the cloning. Um, and, and then, um, oh, the weird thing. And then how um, Mukaku got a hold of Ryuki and all of that. And, all, and also um, the shit with the, and also his goals with the inside and all of that. We need to get all that stuff. Now, um, in terms of structure um, and slash length, um, this could go a couple of ways. Uh, this could go like the Odin um, backstory in One Piece, which I would not mind. I would not mind that. Um, this could be like, uh, the blue knight in, uh, you know, exorcist that we had, which again, I would not mind, or this could go, um, the Seraph of the end, the current, what we're getting in Seraph of the end right now, um, which is, uh, you know, the full backstory of what's, you know, what's going on in terms of, um, getting the truth about you. Well, we kind of, uh, with caution code, um, no, I almost said the wrong name. Shikamadoji, there we go. With Shikamadoji, we don't have like the, full, we know the full, some of the full thing, but you know what I mean. Um, well, for those that read Seraph at the End, you guys understand what I'm talking about. But I feel like in terms of length, I feel like we need, especially, in, uh, depends on the pacing, but I feel like it's definitely going to be at least 10 chapters. I'd like it for it to be at least, I'd like it to be um, at least 20. I, oh, God. Because you can't do, you, you got to do at least 10 chapters for this. You have to. Considering how significant Lukaku is to the series, you gotta do at least 10 chapters on this backstory. 
because we need to know everything from what happened um, prior to the ins you know prior to the whole thing with the inside then the inside then you know um, uh, then the whole thing with uh, um, with the worm and all that shit I mean there's a lot that needs to be covered I think it's gonna be at least 10 chapters depend again it's depending on pacing but I think it's gonna be at least 10 chapters and maybe maybe uh, between 10 to 20 chapters depend again depending on the pacing but I'm very curious what you guys think I'm really excited for this I am I'm excited to get to you know the bottom of uh, um, I get to you know Lukaku's origin and also not just that but because um, I don't know he has to Lukaku has to know about Oma he has to um, well, he calling Oma a worm, but I don't know if he knows the full context, like with Oma being um, the, uh, you know, inherit being the successor of the Nico style. But he might have been told, but he could have just been told what the other Takeda Nico told uh, Mikaku. But we'll have to wait and see. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Sync if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking. So we can keep bringing you more Kengen content. A few ways you could do that. Donate to our cash up, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.